up, you two? Sing! Oh, I like you. And it's been a while. Man. Then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So obviously, <coughs> I'm still a little sick. Um, but this is, this was crazy. I've never been sick for like eight days before. I don't know what the heck happened. So, just to talk about it for a minute. Uh, for this video, we are going to be opening up Mystery Power Box along with, um, hashtag more Mega Mail. And then we have a mystery package from Konami, but I have an idea what it is. And, uh, yeah, then I'm just going to talk about what's kind of been going on with me. Um, so, the sickness. Also, simplyunlucky.com and the Simply VIP program. Uh, mostly everything we're caught up on. Um, if you haven't been notified or you're, you haven't got your tracking info, uh, definitely everything has been sent today. So uh, maybe check in on that or message me again after you see this video. Um, but yeah, so on Saturday, like eight, nine days ago, whatever it was, yeah, like nine days ago, um, I started getting this like super scratchy throat and I was like, oh, it's probably just allergies, whatever. And then like, that night, like I could barely like swallow and I was like, oh, probably have a little cold. And then the day next day, I had like straight strep throat. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You know, I used to get strep before when I was a kid. And it always lasts at least like four days. And I was like, man, it's gonna suck. So I'm like walking around, like barely swallowing, barely talking. I go to my doctor just to make sure. And he's like, yeah, it's strep throat. So here's this, here's that, some antibiotics and whatnot. And then, uh, like Tuesday or Wednesday rolls around and all of a sudden like the strep throat kind of goes away and then I have like a flood a river of snot and then I like went to the doctor again he's like oh now you have the flu so I had like a fever for like six days straight it was terrible and then I had like a, a whooping cough which wasn't really a whooping cough but just it's crazy cough and then I had to like sleep for like 18 hours because my body was just obliterated yeah, I was like, I was scared. I was like, do I have like pneumonia or something? But then, you know, I looked it up. Pneumonia usually have, uh, you like puking and stuff. So you're not, yeah, it's more stomach. Um, but man, I was like, sucks. So eventually though, I started to feel a little better, like seven days later. And, uh, so now here I am still kind of stuffed up and whatnot. So hopefully it ends up working out, um, a week over a week off of videos was not the plan, especially after launching the website. And the VIP program, like, this is not what I wanted to do. So I apologize for that. Um, but, I mean, just take one step at a time. And then I want to ask you guys, post in the comments below, you know, what um, what do you guys, what kind of videos you guys want to see. I think we're going to do some, I know we we're doing some uh, series here and there for, like, Simply and Lucky TV. And we we're going to do, like, a 1,000 pack opening. Um, but we may kind of switch, switch off from that and maybe move towards some random pack openings. Um, and some other type of openings on Simple and Lucky TV, you know, let us know what you guys want to see there But also for Simple and Lucky, um, let us know what you guys would like to see I know um, the Yusei and Jaden Atul, we were really wanting to do that And then, like, I was going to do it the next day And, because uh, Alex was actually free And obviously I couldn't do it with strep throat, I mean, that was terrible um, But, yeah, so let us know, do you guys still want to see the Jaden uh, Yusei battle? And if so, you know, we could uh, move towards that. It's just a little more difficult now. Alex is working full time. So, um, but yeah, we'll try and get that for you guys if that's what you want to see. Or if you want to see something else, we can set it up. Let us know in the comments below. All right, that's it for the update, update for now. We're going to be opening up two mystery power boxes. We'll do Mega Mail in between on the mystery power boxes. We actually got 40 pieces of Mega Mail, you guys. 40 pieces of Mega Mail. Absolutely insane. So, uh, here we go. Let's get started on this epic uh, mystery power box here. Hopefully we don't just get graded, um, what do you call it, Steel Glory Calcos, that would not be very fun. Our last opening mystery power box was godly, um, not even mentioning the graded cards, but uh, that was really cool, that was really cool, check that out, just now. But, uh, so again, mystery power box, this is their new one, um, comes with like a starter deck, which we're probably not going to open, and some booster packs. And a one legacy pack usually, and uh, you know we got Pharaoh's servant last time, Jizna, and so uh, that was exciting. And uh, whoops, I just showed you guys the seal of Orichalcos. Sorry about that. <laughs> there goes that surprise. Um, we got another Pendulum Domination in this one. Then it looks like we have Judgment of the Light again, and it looks like we pretty much have the same packs except this time we have Dark Crisis. So. Uh, that's interesting. 
Like, I don't even know if this is worth to ship. That's crazy to me. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's start with Judgment of Life. We have pulled a Goku out of here. What's his name? The light. It's like the fire and the ice looking dude. It's kind of like Goku. Super Saiyan. Uh, cheap, 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 cheap. Intercepto made Umbral Horror Uniform. uniform. Salamander, the fifth. Spell Recycler, Mecha Phantom Beast, Fish Borg, and Fencing Fire Ferret. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Pendulum Evolution, because like, they picked up a lot of these booster blister packs, I should say, when they have their cardboard around them. People do like blister packs, though. It shows, you know, that they're not weighted or searched in any sort of way. Uh, we have Time Star, Time Star Magician. Double Iris Magician, Enlightened Paladin, uh, Zephyraxa, the Treasure of the Yang Zhang, and the Zephra Divine Strike. Cool. Kind of love that. Time Star Magician. Uh, next we have Battles of Legend, The Light's Revenge. There is a lot of decent cards in here. This is a first edition blister pack. So uh, this one is a bit more, I feel, exciting. A lot of the other packs are. Hopefully we get something good. We haven't gotten too lucky out of these packs as of late. We got a Cactus Bouncer. Celestia, nice. Spellbook of Secrets. A Super Doom King. Uh, Odd Eyes Venom Dragon. I feel like, didn't we just pull that one? What the heck? I guess uh, the Odd Eyes cards like simply. So there you go. And then the final pack for this opening, you guys. So, a card we're looking for out of here. That'd be crazy if we actually pull it once again. Is Exodia Necros. Uh, we have not pulled it for a while out of Dark Crisis. I believe we opened a box, and then we opened up the random packs where we pulled like five foils. Still didn't get Exodia Necros. Let's make it happen right here, right now, you guys. Give it to us. Gaiba! <coughs> Rod of Mind's Eye. Goblin of Greed. Blindly Loyal Goblin. Gravity Axe Gararl. Archfiend Soldier. Nice. A expert in battle who belongs to the crack diabolical unit. He always gets the job done. Uh, frozen Soul, Acrobatic Monkey, Battle Footballer, and Shinato's Ark. So, the reason why I like Dark Crisis so much, and I know this is like that 2006 printing of the pack, um, but just it reminds me of kind of when I was uh, just really trying to get competitive with the game. I don't know, I must have been, you know, around 12 maybe or something. And, uh, yeah, I just remember, like, not being able to really afford Mirror Force and using Sakuretsu armors and, um, using, you know, Archfiend Soldier, just learning how powerful four-star cards are, learning how Jizno actually stops Gravity Bind, learning why people even use Gravity Bind. This, this was that time, and, uh, I just remember it was really fun for me. It was really exciting, kind of being in the, the game at that point. So, Dark Crisis. Alright, you guys, let's do some Mega Mail. Here we go. Um, the Mega Mail got, got a bit crazy. Uh, like I said, 40 packages, and I feel like some of them ripped. Um, so I did my best. But uh, yeah, let's do it. So, actually, let's do this one first. Just because the last Mystery Power Box we had, it's funny that somebody sent this. So, first off, let's check out. He has a picture, a card, and a note. Dear Simply Unlucky, please excuse the terrible handwriting. My name is Chris and I'm 22. I live in Wisconsin. I just wanted to say thanks for always making them awesome videos. And they are so nostalgic for me and it takes me way back to my childhood. Please accept this drawing of Jizno, my way of saying thanks. So let's check out the drawing here. Very cool. Um, I know you guys are like, where's the art wall at? But honestly, I have kept all of the art pieces and I'm looking forward to creating and putting them up in some sort of uh, fashionable way. But uh, it's just been complicated with all the different shenanigans going on around me. But um, it's definitely going to happen. That's all I can say. And when there's a physical card shop, your art will be there. So think about it like that too. Um, still very impressed. Reminds me of this painting somebody sent of Yugi. That was fantastic. Um, very cool though. I, li I like the jizz now. Let's see what else he has to say. Um, I would grit. I would really appreciate it. Um, this card has a lot of sentimental value to me. Thank you so much for everything you do. Your fan, Chris. 
And so he also sent a Gizno from PSV. Um, looks like one of the original printings. Seems to have a little bit of damage there. Um, he would like us to sign it and send it back. Um, and that's okay. I feel like sometimes we're able to do this, but like if we get 40 packages and ask, you know, 40 you guys ask us to sign cards and send them back, it's not really going to happen. So um, be patient with us if you do uh, would like me to sign, sign a card and send it back to you guys. It may take some time, especially with, you know, doing the website, the VIP and all that as well. So very cool though. Very nostalgic card from Chris. Thank you for sending in the uh, drawing as well. Jeez, no. All right. So, next we have this letter. I believe it had some cards in it, but uh, they kind of uh, found their way to another place. Um, don't worry, the cards always end up in the Mega Mail binder. So, Hello, Roman. I've been having a bad time trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! with no cool friends, but by watching your videos, it keeps me going. And I'm just hoping to make new friends while getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I really like this writing, though. You're my inspiration, Simple and Lucky. You are the awesome YouTuber. What is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? Definitely going to be the first original. I was hoping to duel you someday together. Uh, maybe we can be best friends, Roman. <laughs> uh, got some cool Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Okay, so those were your cards. I actually have them. Um, I want to make sure. Did you sign this? You did not sign it. Okay. Well, um, I have the cards. Okay. Um, I got cool Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon for my best friend and cool guy. For the Mega Mail Binder. Believe in the heart of the cards. Gotta catch them all. I got another page for you. I got some awesome questions like, Can I be a part of the Simply Squad? Well, we are all a part of the Simply Squad. Uh, however, Simply's Elite. You guys can email us at simplyunlucky at gmail. Um, if you're interested in joining Simply as Elite. Um, Discord, check it out. When are you going to Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship event? So I really wanted to go to the 200th YCS because I went to the 100th YCS. But um, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, especially after missing a week of working, creating videos, and getting things done. Man, dude, this, this sickness, you guys, was terrible. Um, there's a championship series in Pasadena in November. <laughs> I'd like to meet you in California, and we can be new friends. Don't give up on your dreams, and I still plan on playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Your best friend, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Make sure to sign your guys' letters. <laughs> okay. My best friend, Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Um, let's see here. Again, you guys, these letters got a bit mixed up. Um, this one is from Concord, California. I actually used to live in Concord. Um, Dear Simply Unlucky, your channel is awesome to me, and I simply, and I, to me simply, oh, sim I'm simply, okay. To me simply. And I wonder if I can ever join the SU Corp and be an ally to the Kaiba Corp, part of Simply's Elite. And if I can, simply, that would be awesome because everybody loves Kaiba and your channel. It makes me laugh when you like, Exodia! Obliterate! Yeah, your channel is amazing. Um, and by the way, Kaiba News, is there going to be any new Legendary Hero decks containing one Phantom Knights deck? Deck based off everyone's favorite Yugi Boy, Yuto, the Destiny Hero deck based off of Aster, and Raid Raptor deck based off of Shun. So yeah, the release date is the Hero deck will be October 4th. Oh, so you're doing Kaiba News. Thanks for doing that, Thomas. <laughs> I'm excited because you want to know what deck I'll be using, Phantom Knights. Well, simply, it was nice writing this letter to you, and I'll be watching a lot of your videos later. Sincerely, the Dark Hedgehog, Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. That's an awesome letter, my friend. All right, next one, you guys. Oh, baby, there's zombie cards here. You're awesome. Dear Simply and Lucky. Okay. Dear Simply and Lucky, I love this, and I'd love for you to sign cards. There are zombie cards. Could you also do this in your next YouTube video? Okay. Uh, again, you guys, be sure to sign sign your mail. Whoa, that's pretty. Okay. Dark Magician. Um, and then it would help if you guys want us to sign something to um, Crush Card Virus to send a already addressed return letter okay 
And last but not least for this Mega Man. Oh no, we got another one. Hey Roman, what's up? I sent some fake cards for you to duel Alex with. P.S. I have Dark Magician Curl card. Um, cardboard cutout like you in Cyber Knight. That is Yu-Gi-Oh theme. By the way, Dark Magician Girl TCG. I can't look at her the same way that I look at the OCG. It's much better art. And I'm thinking of getting OCG art for her from now on. I see the pic below, and you'll see the TCG art. The difference is right away. The Dark Magician Girls and the TCG versus OCG art blow my mind. Rage mode. For me. <laughs> you got to sign your... Oh, oh no. He, from your fan, Brendan. Okay. You did sign this. Awesome. Thanks, Brendan, for sending this in. Rage mode. You don't like that one? Or is that... That's the TCG. Well, it's a bit more uncensored, I think. I don't think... I think it's a little... A little more censored for the actual art. All right, you guys. And last but not least, this beautiful letter here. Um, looks like it's a watercolor painting from Italy. Dear Simple Lucky, my name is Elettra. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And I'm a 24 years old, and I'm from Italy. I really enjoy watching your videos. Your enthusiasm is contagious, and your reactions are priceless. I wanted to tell you that I feel inspired to follow my dreams when I see how much effort you put into making yours come true. Believe in it, and you'll be able to open up the best card shop in the world. P.S. I hope you like my drawing. Give it to us. Kaiba! Awesome. That is awesome. So cool. Thank you, Ellie, Electra, for sending this in. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. That is so cool. Man. Makes me smile when you guys send in pictures like that. Okay. Um, next, you guys, we have the package from Konami here. Um, but save that for after the Mystery Power Box second one. You know, actually, let's do it right now. Mystery package from Konami. Three Dark Saviors booster packs. Okay. Let's do it. Right here, right now, you guys. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 dun, da, da, dun. Can we actually pull one of the uh, epic cards? Allure of Darkness. Vampire Vamp. Foolish Bureau Goods. Um, engage. Curry Bandit. Woo! It's a trap, and it looks like Engage a little bit. Or right, it's a magic... Sky Striker Engage, Mecha Phantom, Mecha Phantom Beast, Mecha Modules. Okay. Can we actually get it though? Can we actually get a godly opening with just one card? Mirror Force, Dark Refer, Quick Booster. Is it a magic? No. It's a champion for hire. Awesome. All right, Konami, come on. For once, send us the goodness. Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Reinforcements, Mystic Tomato, Vampire Scarlet Scourge Man. I like those vampire pictures though. Honestly, that set's pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> Wish uh, we would have bought many, many more boxes of that one, right? <laughs> Dark Saviors. All right, you guys, here we go. Last mystery power box. A little bit of a longer video talking about uh, being sick for over a week and. <clears throat> Doing Mega Mail and doing two Mr. Power Boxes, but it's okay. It's been a while. Missed you guys. And uh, again, post in the comments below, please, you guys, um, for what kind of videos you guys would be interested in seeing. I know we're kind of in that middle point where no products really coming out at the moment. Um, I mean, Legendary Hero decks obviously coming soon, stuff like that. But still, let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see opened up. And of course, when you guys get a chance, check out the Simply VIP program and um, the simplylucky.com. Okay, I actually turned it over, but the odds of that being a silver account is about 99%. So, uh, let's see, do we get another Dark Crisis this time? Oh! This one, I like this box. This is, I like this one. We actually got Code of the Duelist First Edition with Dark Crisis, Judgment of Light, and Battle Blades Revenge. And we got a Dragon's Collide structure deck. Um, I would much rather prefer this over 
Pendulum Domination. No offense to Pendulum Domination. But uh, that's actually really nice. But what are the structure decks on the back? So it's actually starter deck. Dragons Collide. And yeah, the Blue Eyes one would be nice too. Oh, okay. Code Duels First Edition is very cool as well. Break the code, you guys. Let's do this opening. I like our setup here, but can we actually get any epic cards? That is the question. Super Defense Robo. Shark Caesar. Spell Recycler. Fencing Firefighter. Midoche Chicklets. The Chicklets, you guys. The Chicklets. Don't mess with the Chicklets, or you'll get the... The Hen. The Rooster. Or you'll get a roosted. Okay, here we go. Next pack here. Can we actually get something from Battle of Legends Lights Revenge? The Time Lord, Archfiend Zombies, Feliz Navidad. Anti spell fragrance, there we go. And Vision Hero. But still, got an anti spell fragrance. Get some value out of that one at least. And now time for some Code of the Duelist. By the way, thanks to Ultra Pro for Hestia Bestia over here. I don't know if you guys noticed her. Kind of chilling like a villain. Or definitely not like a villain, but like a cutie. Hanging out, eating her potato thing. Bell's over there. I don't care that much about him, though. All right. Dark World Brainwashing. If we can actually get a Seeker Rare, that'd be crazy. Sonic Meister. This is a first edition pack. Zombina. World Legacy. Oh, Cyber's Wizard. We got a super rare. So, uh, good super pool there. And then a Supreme King Dragon Star Starving Venom as a rare. Revenge Red. Gravity Lash. So cool, we got a super. Cyber Wizard. It's a wizard, as Lynn would say. Alright, you guys. Last pack of Destiny. Let's do this. Dark Crisis. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Um, Exodia Necros. That's it. That's all we need. Yu Yu! Blindly loyal. Sasuke. Falling down. Now that's a good comment out of here. Pretty valuable, I believe. Dice roll. Different dimension. Gate. Shit onto his arc. Archfiend's Oath. Shooting star bow. See you. And really eternal rest. Whoever did the English for that. You're interesting. But it's technically not over, you guys. We have a 1 in 100 chance to pull a card that is not Silvory Calcos. Do you guys believe in those odds? Uh, what is this? This is no way! <laughs> That's the reaction from Charizard. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I heard about this. You guys told me about this in our Mystery Power Box. That's the only reason I'm not like pissed off because I know you guys have been getting these tokens as PSR, BCCG, whatever, vintage graded tens. This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. Like at least Silvory Calcos is like a memorable, memorable or nostalgic card from a, you know, entire arc of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a freaking goat token. Guys, this is a freaking goat token as a graded card. Like why? Why? Come on. Come on. I don't know. I just, I hope some of you guys feel the disgust when seeing something like this graded. Like, I don't even know what to say. And again, this isn't even like a real grade. This is the cheap graded version of um, BCW. Right? Yeah. So if you're wanting an easy 10, this is who you go to. Man, it's just like, ugh, hurts my soul seeing something like that. At least Steel Warrior Calcos, you can take my soul away forever instead of hurting it with little goats. But, uh, but yeah, you guys, epic opening. Um, so we're going to do our best to get some content rolling for you guys. Hopefully, I'm getting better and it's not like doing some weird like in and out. I keep getting sick and I just stay sick for a month or some crazy thing. Because that would suck. Honestly, you guys, it would suck. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed these mystery power box openings. No godly cards this time, but it's still pretty fun. Um, especially seeing some of your guys' hashtag more mega mail. And if you guys want to participate in hashtag more mega mail, all that you guys need to do is send 
uh, your letters or pictures or whatever you guys want to send to the PO box in the description below. But as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply, Unlucky, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.